biggest problem you have here is these plates will separate and uh, then you'll have a mess and you want them to try to keep them together so I just blocked it off I created a small gap using a washer and this is what I'm going to cut this is an easy way to do this and right it basically will rest like that and I can almost just rest it on my hand turn it on and let it cut so we're going to do here so this is a core for the motor it's one inch by one and one quarter what we're going to do is make some end caps for this so this will be a cut off and then we'll round that and that will make the actual end cap that we're going to put the screw in so i wanted to show you how to put those standards on there so this is what we're shooting for right now and you can see there's that's one complete set. I decided to make two versions of the control board. For some of you who can't find this Wico connector, I'm going to use this type of connector, which you can find at Radio Shack and online, just about anywhere. They look like this. And what I did is I just cut out the, the mounting points and glued them together. And the reason I did that is because this type of connector here has a 0.5 distance between these pins here. This has a 0.8 distance. If any of you have worked with this, you know that's the distance you need to fit any type of uh, NPN or PMP chip, and it won't fit in this type of connector. The circuit board here is two and a quarter by three and a quarter, so it's fairly small. We're talking about fitting on the back of the coil, so you don't want to make it too big. This is the one that I use with the Wico connector and, and you can see I've kind of refined it. It's really been simplified and this is using the Bedini uh, MJ21194 chips which is rated at 250 volts at 14 amps I think. So we'll take the wire we just tend here and we'll identify which one of these wires. That's it right there. 